Hello, I'm Chelsea. I'm James. And we are about to board a flight to Bangkok via Dubai. But like everybody flying long haul, we want an upgrade. Somebody said to me that they once got an upgrade by giving the air stewards sweets. So we've got two flights, two chances to see what giving air stewards sweets will actually get you in return. This is my business ticket. And this is mine. Yeah. Cracking my pants about this, how cringe is it? This is the face that you should be making. This would be like a this mirror as you hand it to the stewardess. Or stewards. But they must know that you want something from them. So it's not even that nice a thing to give them because you're like, please treat me better than everyone else. Right, I'll do the first flight. You can do the second. And let's see what we can get in exchange for sweets. Now, if you're watching this thinking you two look like babies, it's because we are. This was filmed before the pandemic at the end of 2019. I went back and watched it recently and thought, this is such a good series. It needs to be seen. If you wanna catch up with our current travels, come follow me on Instagram. But for now, let's get back to Thailand. Right, it's my go first. I'm really panicking about when to give them the sweets. Like, is it on your boarding? There's lots of people around you. What? What's the best way to do it? I'm a bit stressed out about this. This is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say just something you and the crew. It's nice that, isn't it? Okay. Just something you and the crew. These cost me one pound ninety. Worth an upgrade. Out. I didn't, I did, but I realised there's so many stewards on board that we need to know the ones that are in our section because they might not upgrade us, but they might give us a few extra vino from him. He's getting it. He's getting it. As you may be able to see, we have a spare seat in between us, so I wanted to share this top tip with you. When you are booking your seats, and there's two of you, make sure you book the window and the aisle and leave one in between because when solo travellers are booking, they are less likely to select the middle seat, meaning that you're more likely to get a row with the space in between you. I mean, space is like business, right? So I don't have to give them these sweets. New. No. It's time. He's ending something. I can't give him something now. Oh, God, I just want to open them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I feel like dying. Now we sit and wait. Update. He just came back to me and asked me a question. I thought, here it is. He's going to take me through to business. But he said, Mum, are you cabin crew? I knew that I couldn't lie that well, so I just said no. But a lot of my friends are, so I know that you guys like it. And James thinks I've made a massive faux pas. Should they have lied? I don't think I could have got through it. Who would I have said I flew for? EasyJet. I'm not EasyJet. However, don't worry, we can try again because James and I are now just about to board a flight to Bangkok. So James, are you willing to take on the challenge to see if you can get us upgraded yeah. with some sweet treats? Now, what oh. happens if only one of us gets an upgrade? I did think this last time. I guess because it's your turn, you would get the upgrade. And I'd be fuming because I bought the chocolate. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, snaps. <gasps> Oh my god. How are you feeling about this? What are your tactics going in? I'm going to say, hello, sitting for you and the crew, and then <laughs> flap my eyelids, and then say, which way to 1A? Hello, for you and the crew. Then it'll give me some oxygen. The exciting news is we are flying on the A380. And two floors. A, yeah, two floors, and I've got this on the second floor, which is very close to business class, but we are definitely still yeah. in economy. economy. Once again, I have booked us with a seat in between us, but this flight is a lot busier than our last one, uh, so... so between us. It should, no. be it should be fine though, because I'll be a middle seat as well, so to say to them, do you mind swapping for another middle seat? Surely they'll be like, sure. Imagine if they don't though. Do we want to put them by the window or by the aisle? We're not sat, we're sat in the middle. Um. James, once again, showing that he knows absolutely nothing about what's going on. Like, right, come on. 
I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but this is the plane where they have the first class suites. So I want, that's why I want, okay? Each oh, one I will never get. From an M&M, one bar of M&M chocolate that costs £2.50. No chance. <laughs> We're going upstairs. So currently, this seat is free, but there are a lot of more people still to get on board. I've got this one. Chelsea's got that one. Free. For now. It's now the time, James. So we've arrived in Bangkok. Oh no, this is a Dubai one as well. The last bag has been dropped on this one from Dubai and our bag wasn't there and James is like, our bags are gone. It's like the wrong bloody terminal. So you arrive in Bangkok, how do you get to your hotel? Well, there's no Uber here, but they do have an app called Grab, which is very similar in principle. You can download this ahead of time at home. However, I actually waited until I've got my Thai SIM card because there are loads of free ride discount codes that you can use, but I found that most of them only works using a Thai number. So I did that once I got my SIM card at the airport. If you're heading out of arrivals, you need to follow the instructions on the app and head to entrance seven. Come out, cross the road, and just wait out here. Request your taxi, and we're now currently waiting for hours. It was really, really simple. Our taxi is gonna cost us 360 baht, which is around nine pounds 30, this much. At least you know with the app that that's the price you're gonna get. You're not on a meter. You don't have to worry about scams. The price is what the price is. So you buy to a grab, it was great. And this is us here. It's got a code. Look at this. It's so nice. Here's the bathroom. It's really nice and really big considering. This place, guess how much it was a night, James? I think about 200 pounds. Nice. It was £38 a night, but through Airbnb, and not only that, it includes breakfast. Oh, that's cheap. It's amazing. They also have smaller rooms here, so you can even stay in this place for cheaper. We also have, oh, a little. Oh, shit. I was trying to slide it. Looking out onto the busy road. That's why we've got these. We're on a busy road, but I quite like that sound. So, fridge. Oh, what's this? Oh, yum. Some tea and water. A little microwave in case we need it. So, we kind of just left you. We didn't tell you what happened once James delivered the chocolate, and you, you will not believe it. Go on, tell them. Absolutely nothing. Do nothing. However, once we had taken off, we were allowed to move to this empty area, which meant we could have two seats each. And I think it shows how basic we are that James said, it's all because he got this storage bin next to him. But it was a great flight and the food was bloody good too. So actually it all worked out just fine. But that wasn't thanks to the chocolate. If it has ever worked for you, I wanna know about it. What did we do wrong? Did we say something wrong? Did we give the wrong chocolate? Or is there another top upgrade tip that we're totally missing out on? Make sure you comment below, give us a like and subscribe if you're not already. We are just at the beginning of our Thailand trip. All of our what we get up to will be coming very, very soon. So make sure you are subscribed for more Thailand hashtag content. Next time, we're in Bangkok and we're eating all the food. The first thing I pulled out was a hair. Visiting all the temples and getting absolutely pulverized by this time massage. See you then.